what tax time is, how to calculate it, and why it is useful. In this video, I will explain everything about tax time. I will not just stop at the formula, but I will also explain how to use it in an effective way. I will also clarify why tax time is considered one of the most important numbers in lean manufacturing. Tax time is a fundamental concept relating to having a smooth flow through all stages of production from raw materials to the customer. Tax time is similar to the concept of a metronome, from the German origin of the word tact. The formula to calculate it is Tact time equals available time over customer demand. Note that there are two variables. The first relates to the customer. The second relates to the plant manager. So if the demand changes, the manager should change the available time to keep the same tact time whenever possible. For example, the plant manager could use overtime to increase the available time. The available time is the current production time after deducting scheduled maintenance, lunch, breaks, team meetings, etc. The customer demand is the average of sales by adding test parts, spare parts, percentage of rejects. Let's take an example. You are in charge of a production line that has an available time of 240 minutes per day. Customer demand is 120 pieces per day. Tact time is equal to 240 divided by 120. This is equal to 2 minutes equal to 120 seconds. But what does tact time equal 120 seconds mean? It means that ideally, a customer shows up at the gate of your production line every 120 seconds to pick up a purchased piece. Some tips to calculate the tact time. One, make sure the whole team is aligned with the customer request. Ask everyone involved in the process what the customer request is. When everyone agrees and informed, take a large sheet of paper and make the information large and visible. Two, don't be too optimistic about the time available. If you are not very experienced, it is better to lose a few percentage points of resource efficiency rather than not satisfying the customer. There will be time to improve during the lean journey. 3. For tact time, it is better to use seconds as the unit of measurement. Using minutes and hours, you will have to use decimal numbers with many possibilities for confusion. Let's now turn to a question they often ask me. How to calculate the tact time when several products pass on a production line? Okay. The first thing to define is that we will talk about the production line tact time, and this will no longer be the same as the customer tact time. The production line tact time is calculated by dividing the available time by the total number of parts. For example, three SKU pass on a production line, A, B, and C. The customer's request is 60 pieces of A, 40 pieces of B, and 20 pieces of C. The available time is 360 minutes. The production tact time is 360 minutes over 120 pieces equal 3 minutes equal 180 seconds. This means that every 180 seconds, a customer comes to the gate of the production line to pick up the purchased piece, A, B, or C. The customer tact time that buys A will be different from that of the customer tact time that buys customer B which will be different from the customer tact time that buys C, which will be different from the tact time of the production line. Conclusions In this video, I explained how to calculate the tact time in different production conditions and on which points to pay attention. In the next videos, I will explain how tact time is used for. Check if there are bottlenecks in the production line. Identify the constraints of the production line. Size the number of people needed for the production line. How to target Kaizen events to balance the line and remove waste. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In the description you will find some useful resources.